Extreme transmissions, love your work, brother. And yeah, great question. It uh, comes down to uh, air and water being Newtonian fluids. Um, Newton did a great breakdown on this and showed us that the shear stress over viscosity is fairly linear, so it helps us with the calculation. Even though that isn't ac exactly perfect, there are caveats to that, but generally, uh, the faster we push air through a pipe, the more this uh, boundary layer will thicken uh, and it's pressure relevant. So this is why we also don't have parallel intake pipes. Uh, because we actually want to control the velocity and the MCA point at that 690 is where we need to be. What we're trying to do is find a balance between inertia, speed and density. Those three key factors are what's going to make horsepower and feed our volumetric efficiency uh, because, yeah, again, air will want to separate if we it, it doesn't like to go fast and we see this in short turns and stuff where we actually get reversion. Uh, the inertia of the air will actually cause separation where it tears off the short turn, similar to what you see in that jet um, but that's obviously a lot faster and that's what when we get into our what they call lambda shock waves and so on basically uh, that sonic boom uh, but in the induction length here the straighter it is the faster we can usually accelerate and the better average inertia we can have and but here's your MCA point and after this is your recovery zone uh, so this will be the thinnest point and we can see that in our density curve and again it's also temperature related so uh, the hotter it is the faster it can flow and we see this with turbocharged vehicles when the turbos start to go off we'll see the extension in the rpm on the dyno graph but there's the uh basically the density graph and as you can see it's related to uh, that induction length but yeah it's just a really good average to work on i have some calculators on my website if you want to check them out um and any good cylinder head will give you an mca and then you can calculate it off rpms and cubes and, and work out if it's the right head for you